hello guys welcome you all to this video here we will solve a problem related to wrong scan and this question was asked in june 2015's paper so read it carefully it says that pb continuous function on r and wb wrong scan of two linearly independent solution y1 and y2 of a differential equation d to y dx2 plus 1 plus x square dy dx here comes p equals to 0 these are two linearly independent solution of this equation and w be wrong scan of these two w be the wrong scan of these two functions then extra conditions are also given w1 as a then w2 as b then w3 as c these are extra conditions given but all the four options are related to this a b and c so you have to be careful and let's start this question look at y1 and y2 these are linearly independent solution of this equation and wb wrong scan that means whenever two functions are given say y1 and y2 these are two functions of x then corresponding wrong scan it is given by this determinant okay if this determinant not equals to zero then they are these two functions are linearly independent otherwise they are dependent that means if it is equals to zero for any value of x if it is equals to zero then these two functions are dependent similar for kind of formulation we have for 3 by 3 or 3 functions hmm. suppose 3 functions are given y1 y2 and y3 and if they are linearly independent if they are linearly independent then this corresponding 3 by 3 determinant and in that case it is the wrong scan for these three functions y3 double dash it is not equals to 0 if they are linearly independent if it is equal to 0 then they are linearly dependent fine so we are only restricted to this case only here fine now look at we have this one in our hand as Ronskian. So this was the basic or fundamental concept of Ronskian for some functions or to check some functions, whether they are independent or not. But there are many more properties of Ronskian and in my Facebook page, AB page, you will get some PDF after all these question solving sessions, you will get some pdf and here i will give all the properties of wrong scan and related all the pdfs you will get there and it will be systematic material for you as well just go there and like that page you'll find all these things okay now come back to the main part of this question so you have this wrong scan concept in your mind but here to solve this problem exactly you need to know one formula which is called Abel's formula. Abel's formula related to to Ronskian because there are many formulas for namely Abel's formula. So it is particularly related to Ronskian. This formula says that if your differential equation it is this that means second order linear differential equation in that case the wrong scan w of the two solutions say two solutions are given as y1 and y2 then the corresponding wrong scan it is given as c e or some constant k into e to the power minus e to the power minus p1x by p0x 
dx e to the power this stuff okay so this is abel's formula you need to know this formula or you need to use this formula here to solve otherwise this question will get very much lengthy to solve you can easily solve but it will consume many more time in some video i may solve that manual by that manual process i may solve and in that formulation you will get the flavor how the things work actually so here we are only going we are only using this fact so we have y w1 as a so w1 as a this one is given that immediately implies k into here comes e to the power this one what is going to be look at p0 is 1 and p1 is 1 plus x square so ultimately you will get from here that x after doing that integration you will get x cube by 3 and it is a obviously at x equal to a you need to calculate this one hmm. that immediately implies k into e to the power minus 4 by 3 equals to a this one you have in your hand similarly w2 equals to b will give you k into e to the power minus 14 by 3 just verify it this one give you 36 by 3 c okay and the small k is constant it may be greater than zero it may be less than zero we don't have any information about k clear okay now we are all set to tackle the options first option it says that a is less than zero and b is greater than zero is it possible just take a pause and think look at here e to the power minus 4 by 3 e to the power minus 14 by 3 e to the power minus 36 by 3 all these terms are greater than 0 so it is totally depending upon k if k is greater than 0 then a b c all are greater than 0 if k less than 0 then all these are less than 0 isn't it so no question of getting the opposite sign that means the first option is false fine okay now you can easily you can easily tackle the second option i will give you that flavor here look at 4 by 3 14 by 3 and 36 by 3 they have this relation isn't it so so e to the power 4 by 3 14 by 3 less than e to the power 36 by 3 correct so e to the power minus 4 by 3 greater than e to the power minus 14 by 3 then e to the power minus 36 by 3 correct up to this no problem so if k is greater than 0 that will imply this relation will still hold e to the power minus 4 by 3 greater than k into e to the power minus 14 by 3 greater than k into e to the power minus 36 by 3 i think you are getting the flavor and it is a greater than b greater than c so you are getting this one and similar kind of treatment if you if you take k is less than 0 or obviously or will be the case if k less than 0 you will get a less than b less than c so finally you are getting that second option is correct because in the second option they are exactly saying the same thing as we are getting here fine okay now come to this thing this this was up to that we have okay now come to this uh, third option this third option says that a by 
mod a obvious fact this is totally a obvious fact see by mod c they are all equal look at you have a as i think k into e to the power minus 4 by 3 so mod a obviously this one k into e to the power minus 4 by 3 so just divide them and you will have this kind of thing so it is one and similarly you can check that b by mod b and c by mod c all are equals to one okay if you simply take k as greater than zero if you take k less than zero in that case all will be equal with minus one whatever may be the scenario still option three is correct fine okay now come to the fourth option as your second option is correct second option a greater than b greater than c or a less than b less than c this is correct that is why your fourth option is false because observe this fourth option you will get it 0 less than a less than b and b greater than c greater than 0 these two simultaneously cannot hold that is why fourth option is false so finally you are getting your second and third as the correct options okay i think you got the flavor